What's up, everybody? Vitor Duarte here. I want to talk to you about the um, the we just we just finished the uh, the West Coast Trials, ADCC West Coast Trials, and uh, this video is about that. So I'm gonna go through the all the finals and my opinions of, uh, regarding the fighters and everything. But first of all, the show itself, the uh, the tournament was really cool. I mean, uh, watching from the TV, it was amazing. Um, the whole the, the first part like yesterday on saturday and today until the semifinals um it was a very a very cool event it was like the lights were great everything was like really neat to watch uh it was really well organized when they jumped into into the semifinals then it became kind of a bigger show with colored lights a lot of uh i don't know uh smokes and all that stuff i mean it's okay. A lot of like loud, loud music. I uh, kind of don't love it, but it's just me. Maybe you like it, so that's fine. I just think it wasn't necessary. But anyways, it was it was a cool show. You no doubt about it. Like it became bigger. Like to, like it, it was a huge show. It was a huge event. But uh, the whole the whole the whole lights and music so loud. I think it takes away from the from the. It takes away from 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 the the way it was going on before, which I loved. But anyways, that's me. So uh, minus sixty six, below sixty six kilos. The finals were between uh, Keith Krikorian and Josh Cisneros. So Keith Krikorian has been on a huge killing. He's been doing great. He's he's getting better by the hour. It's impressive. Like uh, the uh, from he's from a uh, Tenth Planet, right? So he's been doing great. Like, last fight that he had, uh, who's number one? I was there in Dallas. He fought uh, the tough, the super tough Gabriel Souza, and he just smashed him. Like he, he he put he put on his game, his guard game, attacks from everywhere, from bottom, from top, everywhere, and he succeeded in in his fight on who's number one. Just the way he succeeded the whole weekend. He was beating people like fighter after fighter. Someone, some, some very tough, some not so much, but still, his game was like on top right there. So he didn't spare any energy. I saw him like going from submission to submission. It wasn't different against Josh Cisnero, which is a super tough opponent. By the way, like he fought amazingly. The amount of, of jiu-jitsu that this kid put out, like Josh is there. I'm a fan of this kid. Like, he's really, really good. Like, he trains uh, with my friend Keshinho at Aris BJJ. And, like, he is such a talented kid. Such a talented, well-composed kid. He was, like, he was, man, he was flying over the uh, the, the, the fights. And his, the, the, the leg lock that he did, like, some sort of leg lock, like when he comes from the back all the way to the bottom, he gets the foot and he stretches the hamstrings. Like that guy on a, I think it was in the semifinals or even before, he walked, he couldn't walk out the stage and neither could uh, Jenny Grippo in the semifinals actually. So two guys that were caught on the same position, a very nasty one, but beautifully well, beautifully, beautifully executed by Josh. So, I was expecting a longer fight between Keith Krikori and Josh Cisneros, but Keith was so on point with his attacks that he was able to submit uh, 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 Josh in a heel hook, and it was beautifully done too. Like he was like on point with his technique. So Keith Krikori has got the uh, the finally got an, uh, the, uh, the 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 spot on ADCC, and congratulations to him to both of them. Like they did an amazing campaign. Um, Minus 77, so minus 77, William Tackett, I'm a fan, also a fan of William Tackett, trains with my friend Bruco Tu in, in, in Austin, Texas, and he fought Angie Varela, which I knew before, like I've, I've, seen, I've seen him fighting, but I wasn't expecting that volume of jiu-jitsu that he displayed in, uh, in, the, in the tournament yesterday and today. Like he beat, Andy Varela beat uh, Majid Hage, which was doing really well. Uh, he did amazing in the Brazilian trials. He came to the U.S., um, came back to the U.S. where he lives because he's half Brazilian, half uh, American. And he was doing well until he, 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 he uh, met Andy Varela. 
and Andy could like could do really well with him. So I was impressed with Andy Varela going to the finals, and he started like he was just going after Will and Tackett, got him on a on, on a on a guillotine right right off the bat, and it was a really tough one for 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 Willen to get out. So when Tackett got out of it, uh, he saw himself again. In, in, in another, in another, like, submission situation, which I don't remember quite, quite well right now. But he was, like, going from submission to submission as well. Andy Varela was, like, going after it. And to the point where Andy Varela was able to get another, another guillotine towards the end of the fight. And William Tackett was able to get out, like, Houdini style, got out of it and landed on side control, passing his guard and then mounting. So that's when he won the fight. Um, it was a beautiful fight. Like it was like two minutes of fight, two minutes in. It was like six or six, six or seven uh, uh, different uh, uh, submission attempts and, 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 and guard passing and sweeps and, and takedowns. It was crazy, crazy, crazy movement. It was, it was nice to see. It was really, really good to see. Really well moved. Every, everything was like, wow, the, the two kids were, they did amazing. 88, under 88 kilos, Jacob Rodriguez and, and uh, Hunter Colvin. Hunter Colvin was also, like, killing it on the, on the whole tournament. He, I think he was the one that beat uh, Jacob Couch, if I'm not mistaken. I, I, don't, I, I don't remember quite well. I think so, that he beat Jacob Couch. But, uh, like, he was super strong. I thought he was, like, stronger than anyone going through uh, all the way to the finals. And when he started fighting Jake, uh, Jake Rodriguez, which is uh, Nicky Rodriguez's uh, uh, um, brother, younger brother, he was, he was killing Jake, uh, uh, Jake Rodriguez. But Jake was trying to get to, the, to that, to that uh, boogie choke. The boogie choke was like, was, was there, but Hunter was able to stand and shake it off and he was able to like to keep fighting until he got caught in it again. And Jake Rodriguez kept on insisting and got him and submitted him on the on, on the on the boogie choke on the finals of the trials, man. And uh, I'll say I'll say what like 77 and 88 kilos, if I'm not mistaken, was that were, were the two toughest divisions with most people, most fights. So Jake Rodriguez did amazing. Got his, his spot on ADCC and uh, like with, a, with such a beautiful submission on the finals against such a tough guy on Hunter Coven. So congratulations to both of them. On 99, under 99 kilos, for me, the best fighter in the whole tournament, Paul Ardila, which I saw fighting before too, many, many times. But the Paul Ardila that I saw today and yesterday was a different one. He was like on point with his attacks. I think he submitted all his fights yesterday and today. I think he submitted all his fights and his finals. Uh, uh, in the finals, he was the, the fastest submission. Um, I think that Mario Gonzalez, the guy that he fought, was not that great, even though he made it to the finals. So he did something right throughout the, 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 the weekend, right? But he wasn't especially technical. Um, he was strong. He looked strong. But poor Ardila... He was just going to the to, to the foot and attacking the heels in such a perfection way that uh, like Mario Gonzalez couldn't even resist. Forty two seconds in forty two seconds he was done with Mario Gonzalez. So poor Adila uh, that uh, that trains with my good old friend Juan Jucão Carneiro from Carson Gracie, my brother Jucão. What an amazing job you did with this kid, man! Congratulations. I think the flow grabbing needs to. Look into this guy and have poor Dila on who's number one as soon as possible because he's going to make some damage with some big names. And he himself should become a big name sooner than later. Because I think that he's not that young. I would say that poor Dila would have, a, what, 30? He would be 30 years old, maybe a little younger. Because be, I've seen him fighting many, many times. I don't know how, how old he is. Maybe he's 25. I don't know. I really don't know. But I think that I've, because I've seen him so many times, he might be around for longer than we think um under so that was under 99 kilos over 90, 99 kilos kyle bem fought uh daniel manasiu if i'm not mistaken that's uh, I, I don't know how, how to pronounce his uh his last name but daniel committed a huge mistake like kyle bem was 
like was doing great on the on the whole tournament, and so was Daniel. Daniel trains with uh, Gordon Ryan and 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 uh, and uh, on on the team there, uh, New Wave Jiu Jitsu, with um, with and, and training with Gordon. Like he learned a lot. No, Joe Danaher there, and, and and training with Gordon, he probably learned a lot because he's big, maybe bigger than Gordon. Like I think he's like two hundred fifty pounds. He's super big, and. The way I saw it, like he, well, so he's a guard player. He was pulling guard in every fight. He was to start and sit right off the bat, and so so was Kyle. So it was like both guys doing pretty much the same thing going to the finals, and it was here and there. It was like okay, the the, the fight was pretty balanced for, 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 to both sides, and it was zero zero until the end of the fight, in, until the end of the the overtime, when Daniel decided to pull guard. And he shouldn't, so he got a penalty, and he lost because of that penalty. I mean, if I was him, I would just, you know what? Let me let me just try to st stand, and because I know Kyle wanted to play guard too, and since you tried to, to to submit him from from the bottom or from top for the last eleven minutes, let's wait until like maybe judge's decision. But I won't give a point. I won't take a penalty to try anything like less than one minute to go. So that's what he did. He, I think it was a poor choice. Maybe he didn't know what to do there or nobody told him, or he didn't know the rules exactly. That happens a lot, more often than not. So he lost for this penalty, which was like lame, it was, was, was bad. You know, so the, uh, Kyle Bem got his, got, got his, uh, his ticket to, uh, to ADCC Worlds in September. And more than deserved, he did really well. And, and he's been he's been fighting like for a long time, trying to get there. And now he got there. It was good. It was good to see him win. Um, with the girls, uh, minus sixty six, minus sixty kilos. The final was Brianna Saint Marie from Canada against Jasmine Rocha. Jasmine, uh, the 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 daughter of my friend and teammate Wagner Rocha, which had also his uh, his son. Achilles Rocha, Jasmine's brother, um, fighting too. He didn't make it to the finals, but Jasmine was doing amazing. She almost, she almost got like, they almost messed up. Like the referees almost messed up with Jazz, with Jasmine on, on the semifinals. Cause she was fighting against, I forgot her name from Atos. And she was supposed to get her two points on the second takedown. There was, there was no, there was no uh, uh, submission uh, locked in, but they never gave her. So they went to judge's decision, but then the judges start talking and they said, you know what, let's grant the two points. So she got the two points and she won the semifinals and she moved to the finals to fight Brianna St. Marie. That was like on, a, on such a beautiful day. She was like, I think she also submitted all her, all her opponents. I don't know. I saw her submitting so many people. No, no. I think that the other girl was submitting everybody. I'll, I'll remember. But, uh, Brianna St. Marie brought, brought in like a lot of pressure on top of Jasmine and Jazz couldn't even fight. It was just a Brianna the whole time going after it. And from the half guard, she went to, to, a, to a beautiful guillotine, which helped us, helped her pass the guard and mount and try to submit there. She couldn't submit. So it was a tough one, but uh, Jasmine couldn't resist the pressure and Brianna St. Marie uh, got the win, got the the the, the ticket to uh, to ADCC, and it was it like it, I was impressed with the Canadian girl. She was like amazing the whole weekend. On plus sixty kilos, um, Amy Campo, which is probably the strongest girl, and she doesn't look that strong. She's not like Gabby Garcia strong, but she's strong. I could see her like going through the girls. They couldn't keep up with her, so much power and her technique associated. Like she fought Paige Yvette on the finals. Paige Yvette was the one that submitted all the fights until the finals she got submitted by, by Amy Campo. So Amy was, like she, her performance tonight was absurdly, like it was beautiful. I was really impressed by the girl like from, from Zenith. She's really strong, she's really tough. And she submitted Paige Vet in a beautiful fashion. Like it was, it was a beautiful tournament. What can I say? Like the uh, the um, the mat size was amazing. It was the biggest mats I've ever seen. 
bigger than who's number one, bigger than any of the events I've seen. It's probably like 15, 15 by 15. I think it was like 15 by 15 meters, like 50 by 50 feet, something like that. It was so big. It was huge. But um, um, people were still walking, uh, going out of the uh, out of bounds. It, it will always happen. It doesn't matter. If you go to a football field, they're going to keep going out of bounds. There's no way around it. But anyways, it was a beautiful event. It was an amazing event. I loved it. Um, I think that uh, most of these kids, and, and like kids, guys and girls, they did their best campaign to the, to date. Like Keith Krikorian, win attack it. Jake Rodriguez, which is a blue belt. He just got his purple belt. But as I always say, no gi, no belt. It doesn't matter what belt you are. And no gi is a different sport. The, it, the, the belt system doesn't, doesn't go, it, it doesn't matter And no gi, you know. Uh, Paul Ardila, amazing for me. That was the name of the name of the tournament. The best, the best fight in the whole tournament was Paul Ardila. Uh, Kyle Bam, Amy Campo, and uh, Brianna Saint Marie. They're all like congratulations to all of you for your ticket to uh, ADCC Worlds in September. I'll be there. I'll be watching, or maybe if I get an invitation, I'll be fighting. I don't think I will, but anyways, uh, I still have hope. Maybe. Uh, I would be the the, the 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 older, but older participant ever, maybe, right? So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching, um, and that's it. Like, just put on your comments uh, if if I forgot something, I uh, forgot to mention anyone. Uh, let me know what you thought about the, uh, the the West Coast trials, and we go from there. Okay, take care, guys. God bless. Bye.